Good morning, friends. It's Miss Gardner. So I know on your learning template for this morning, you guys are going to be watching the brain pop for US symbols. But I also thought it would be fun if we had the option to watch the video together and do the online easy quiz together. So if you've already watched the US symbols brain pop video, no worries. Um, if you want to watch it again or participate in the easy quiz with me, you are welcome to watch as well. So let's start off with the video. It's a present for Jen, my pen pal in China. He's never been to America, so I'm sending him stuff that tells about our country. Good idea, Moby. We should give Jen a flag. It's an important symbol of the United States. What is a symbol anyway? A symbol is something that stands for something else. Well, a heart is a symbol of love, and a dove is a symbol of peace, and a four-leaf clover stands for good luck. Oh, right. A horseshoe also stands for good luck. Different symbols can stand for the same thing. What are some objects that stand for the United States? The American flag is a symbol of the whole country. It has 50 stars, which stand for the 50 states. And there are 13 stripes, which stand for the 13 colonies that became the first states. Each state has its own flag, too. I love looking at state flags because they're all so different. Each state also has trees, animals, and even fossils that stand for the whole state. <laughs> oh, right. I almost forgot. The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States, and it represents strength and freedom. Hmm. The Liberty Bell also represents freedom. The Liberty Bell used to hang in Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The bell rang to announce the Declaration of Independence in 1776. The Liberty Bell stands for freedom and independence. Yeah, that is a big crack. That's the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France in 1886 as a sign of friendship. It's on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. Many immigrants or people who came from different countries used to reach America by boat. The Statue of Liberty welcomed them to their new home. The Statue of Liberty stands for freedom, hope, and friendship between countries. Hmm, a symbol doesn't have to be an object. It can also be a building. What are some buildings that stand for the United States? This is the Washington Monument. A monument is something that is built to honor an important event or person. The Washington Monument was built to honor George Washington. He helped the United States become a country and was the first president. He's known as the father of our country. Well, that's the Lincoln Memorial. It honors Abraham Lincoln, a president who kept the country together during the Civil War and helped to end slavery. Now, that's not a memorial. That's the White House. The White House is where the president lives and works. The Capitol building is where Congress meets, and the United States Supreme Courthouse is where judges make decisions about laws. These three buildings are symbols of the United States government. Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me, Moby. What other ways do we honor the United States? 
The Star Spangled Banner is our national anthem. That means it's a song that stands for the whole country. Some classes face the flag to say the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance is a promise to respect the United States. Hmm, what else is a symbol of the United States? Good idea. There's that saying, American as <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> Moby, what else did you put in there? Oh, Moby is so silly. So I hope that video helped to introduce you to some different types of American symbols. I know on the rest of the remote learning template for this week, I believe it asked you to select one of those American symbols that we talked about in the video or one that you research on your own and to draw and write a few sentences about it. So that will be a lot of fun too. All right, let's get to the easy quiz. Let's see if we can make Moby dance this morning. Okay. Start! Number one, which symbol stands for freedom? A heart, a bald eagle, a crown, or a clover? So take a minute, think about what we just saw in the video. Which symbol stood for freedom? And think of something that's a U.S. symbol out of these symbols. If you guess a bald B, eagle. bald eagle, you got it. And I think that might have been, I think that might have been what Moby had been putting in the box at the end of the video. What do the 50 stars on the U.S. flag stand for? Oh, I remember this from the video. The 13 colonies, the 50 states, good luck, or the solar system? What do the 50 stars on the U.S. flag stand for? The 13 colonies? The 50 states, good luck, or the solar system. You got it. It's the 50, the 50 states, states in the United States. The stripes, the 13 stripes are what stand for the 13 original colonies. Number three, why is George Washington known as the father of our country? He helped to win the Civil War. He was very old. He helped the United States become a country and was the first president, or he had more children than anyone else. Why do you think George Washington is known as the father of our country? Oh, Malibu's trying to give an answer right now. Malibu, why do you think George Washington is known as the father of our country? If you guessed he helped the see, United States you got it, Malibu. country and was the first he was president. The first president. And he helped the United... Oh, Captain's trying to answer too. Captain, what are you talking about today? They are chit-chatty. Number four, which animal would be a symbol for Florida? Okay, so we're going to think about which animal would make sense to be a symbol for Florida. Maybe an animal that's important to them. A penguin, a panda bear, a buffalo, or an alligator? Ooh, I think I can tell which animal would be a symbol for Florida. Think about which animal you might see a lot in Florida. I saw a few of these on my last trip to Florida. It would be an alligator. An alligator. Oh. And let's see if we can get the last question to make Moby dance. A mascot is the symbol for a school, club, or team. Which is the best mascot for Moby's track team? So a mascot, Birdies, you're so silly and loud this morning. A mascot is something that's a symbol for a school, club, or team. So at our school, our mascot is the CGS Bulldogs. So Moby wants a mascot for his track team. Now I'm thinking if you're going to have a mascot for a track team, you probably want to pick an animal that is fast. So listen to the options. Cheetah, turtle, worm, or walrus. Hmm, I see a super fast animal on there. Do you see a super fast animal on there? I see a cheetah. We got it. Cheetah. Woohoo! 
and we got Moby a dancing this morning. All right, thank you for learning with me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video.